shorter WWE shows, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> so let me preface this. We are getting shorter WWE shows in the future. It was announced this past week that WWE SummerSlam will take place in Las Vegas at Allegiant Field, the home of the Las Vegas Raiders. Didn't call them the Oakland Raiders. Big dub on that. WWE <laughs> wants to put uh, on a WrestleMania-type show, reportedly, uh, because they weren't able to have a full crowd. They want to fill up the big football stadium. They want to have you know a lot of interest. Um, it, the, and the biggest interesting thing that came out of this, though, and that has people talking, is the fact that the show will start at 8 p.m. and is reported to only have a three-hour runtime. And that's also because there's a Manny Pacquiao fight in Las Vegas the same night as his pay-per-view. <laughs> which, so they want to give people time to go see that fight. Um, so it's going to be a short SummerSlam. But three-hour pay-per-views are, should be the norm going forward, according to all these reports. And they have been the norm recently. Like WrestleMania, each night was about like three hours. Uh, hours yeah. past, past few pay-per-views, like I, I, like I started live streaming at Fastlane and until now, they've all been like three hours just breezes to watch. So what do we think of this, Trevor? Three shorter pay-per-views, three-hour run times. Is this good for WWE? It's one of the best things to happen for WWE. <laughs> um, like, I mean, like, like we've talked about before, it's just, it's just too much. It's just too much. You know, you have like, what, 16, 17 matches, all just like crammed together, and you, have, and you don't get a chance to actually enjoy these matches because at the, the matches you really want to see at the end, you're tired by that point. So is three hours enough time? Yes, absolutely. The three hours is more than enough time. And this is something that should have probably been done a while ago, too. Um, I applaud whoever thought of this. Yeah, it's it's one of the best things to happen in wrestling. Isn't it weird that as wrestling fans, we've been clamoring for less wrestling from WWE for like the past <laughs> 10 years? Like, I, only WWE can do this. But it's great because... Like, like, go back and watch some of my, my streams of these pay-per-views. I have never been happier watching WWE, like, pay-per-views than I was, like, watching these. Like, yeah, some of the matches are boring, but it's fine because they're only, like, 10 minutes long. And the, and the overall, and I'm not, like, looking forward to 18 other matches. But right. this is great. And you know what it does, Trevor, also? It makes these pay-per-views more special. Because yeah. now you're able to do these three-hour shows. You're able to you know, condense everything down and only have what's important. Cut out the fat. You Forget releasing superstars. Cut out the real fat. Cut out the unnecessary matches. Because because <laughs> I, I think a, even AEW has perfected this to the point where there's still like, not everyone needs to be on the card all the time. Yeah. And yeah. I think it, it can be a good thing for the product. Like, like we've, like I've said. So I think these things are good. Um, now, as far as scheduling your second biggest pay per view on the same night as uh, a one of the biggest boxing matches of the year, not uh, that that probably was not a good idea. Baby steps over, baby steps. <laughs> yeah, baby steps with this company, bro. This is the biggest, biggest billion dollar company, wrestling company. Sorry, sport entertainment company in the world, <laughs> um, and a uh, baby steps with them. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.